theorem a product of topological spaces is completely regular if and only if each coordinate space is so the direct implication follows from a previous theorem and the fact that complete regularity is a hereditary property from this theorem we know that every coordinate space x i is embeddable into the product space so we can regard each coordinate space as a subspace of the product space x we know that complete regularity is a hereditary property so if x is completely regular then each subspace of x will be completely regular and hence we have each xi will be completely regular therefore we can conclude that whenever the product space is completely regular each coordinate space will be completely regular also for the convex path assume that each coordinate space is completely regular and let us label the product space product xi as x we need to show that x is also completely regular it is enough to show that the condition for complete regular spaces will be satisfied for every open set contained in a subbase for x by the previous lemma so let us consider the standard subbase which contains elements of the form pi j inverse of vj where j element of the index set i and vj is open in xj let us consider an arbitrary element of this subbase say pi j inverse of vj and a point say small x from pi j inverse of vj then as x element of pi j inverse of vj we have pi j of x element of vj and we know that vj is an open subset of coordinate space xj and pi j of x is a point of that open set hence by complete regularity of xj there will exist a map f from xj to unit interval such that f maps this point pi j of x to 0 and f takes value 1 outside this open set that is f takes value 1 on xj minus vj now we need to construct a similar continuous function from the space x to unit interval which maps the point x to 0 and every point outside this set pi j inverse of vj to 1 we already have a continuous function from xj to unit interval namely our f and we know that the projection function pi j is defined from x to xj so if we consider the composition of these two functions f composition pi j then it will be defined from x to unit interval also we have f of pi j of x equal to 0 which implies that f composition pi j of x is equal to 0 so the new function f composition pi j maps the point x to 0 and if we consider any point y element of the complement of this set pi j inverse of vj which is pi j inverse of xj minus vj then pi j of y belongs to xj minus vj so this is a point outside the set vj hence the function f will map this point pi j of y to 1 that is we have f composition pi j of y will be equal to 1 thus we have obtained a continuous function f composition pi j since both f and pi j are continuous 
and we know that it is defined from x to unit interval and the new function f composition pi j maps x to 0 and it maps every point outside the set pi j inverse of vj to 1 hence the condition of the last lemma is satisfied by every member of our subbase and this implies that the space x is completely regular corollary a topological product of spaces is taken off if and only if each coordinate space is so we know that a space is taken off if and only if it is completely regular and t1 by the previous theorem we know that x is completely regular if and only if each coordinate space xi is completely regular and by another previous theorem we know that the product space x is t1 if and only if each coordinate space xi is t1 again by the definition of ticking off spaces we know that xi is completely regular and t1 if and only if xi is ticking off thus we have proved that the product space x is ticking off if and only if each coordinate space xi is ticking off next theorem states that a product of spaces is connected if and only if each coordinate space is connected for the proof let us label our product space as x we know that the projection function pi j is defined from x to xj and that it is a surjection or an on to function so xj can be regarded as the image of x under pi j and we know that connectedness is preserved under continuous functions so whenever x is connected its image pi j of x will be connected that is the space xj will be connected thus we have proved that if the product space is connected then so is each coordinate space conversely assume that each coordinate space xi is connected we need to prove that x is connected in first semester we had proved that connectedness is a finitely productive property that is we know that if x1 x2 etc xn are n connected spaces then their product space is also connected here the index set is arbitrary so i may be an uncountable set also so we will be applying this finitely productive property to prove that connectedness is productive let us consider a point say small x in capital x and assume that x i is the ith coordinate of this point for each i and let c be the component of capital x containing small x to prove that capital x is connected we will need to show that this c is in fact equal to x itself we first claim that c is dense in x to prove that c is dense in x it is enough to show that every non-empty open set in x intersects this set c non-vacuously that is if we take any non-empty open set g in x we need to show that g intersection with c is non-empty since g is a non-empty open set g will contain a non-empty basic open set say v is equal to product vi where vi is open in xi for every i and vi is equal to capital xi for all except finitely many indices since we know that the standard base consists of all large open boxes now let us construct a new product product zi where zi is equal to singleton set xi the ith coordinate of x for every i not equal to i1 i2 etc in and assume that for the indices i1 i2 etc in zir is equal to xir itself for r varying from 1 to n then the product z will be homeomorphic to 
द फाइनाइट प्रोडक्ट एक्स आई वन क्रॉस एक्स आई टू क्रॉस एक्सेट्रा क्रॉस एक्स आई एन सिंस इफ वी डिफाइन ए फंक्शन फ्रॉम जेड टू द फाइनाइट प्रोडक्ट बाय एफ ऑफ जेड इक्वल टू जेड आई वन जेड आई टू एक्सेट्रा जेड आई एन अन इंटरप्रेट देन दिस विल बी ए होम्योमोर्फिसम फ्रॉम जेड ऑन ट this finite product so z will be homeomorphic to this finite product since each xir is connected that is xi1 etc xin are all connected spaces so the finite product xi1 cross etc cross xin will be connected since z and this space are homeomorphic we must have the space z is also connected by a previous corollary from the definition of the set z note that ith coordinate of the point small x xi belongs to zi for every i since zi equal to x uh, singleton set xi for i not equal to i1 i2 etc in and zir is equal to xir so ith coordinate of xi belongs to zi for every i therefore x belongs to Z. and we know that c is the component containing the point small x hence x element of c also thus we have x is a point common to both c and z where these two sets c and z are connected hence c and z are two connected sets which are not mutually disjoined therefore their union z union c will be connected but we know that c is the component containing small x that is c is the maximally connected subset of capital x containing the point small x since z union c is a superset of c which is connected and such that small x is a point of this set so c cannot be properly contained in this superset z union c therefore we must have c is equal to z union c and this will imply that z is a subset of c also note that z intersection v is non empty since v is a product of the form product vi where vi is equal to capital xi for all i not equal to i1 i2 etc i n therefore z intersection v will be product a w i where w i will be equal to singleton set x i for i not equal to i1 etc i n and w i is equal to v i for i equal to i1 i2 etc i n or we can say that w i r is equal to v i r for r varying from 1 to n so z intersection v contains all points of the form y where i the coordinate of y is equal to x i for i not equal to i1 i2 etc i n and i r the coordinate y i r will be an arbitrary element of v i r so z intersection v is non empty hence c intersection v is also non empty as c is a superset of Z. Since V is a subset of G, this implies that C intersection G is also non-empty. Thus, we have proved that C intersects every non-empty open subset of X. Therefore, C is dense in x by the characterization of dense subsets hence c closure is equal to x on the other hand components are always closed and hence c is equal to c closure putting these two equations together we get c is equal to x since c is a component we know that it is always connected therefore x is connected thus we have proved that whenever the coordinate spaces x i is are all connected the product space x is also connected